Hello, my name is Christian. I'm going to show you how to use Xbox Game Pass Cloud Gaming without a controller. So head to Chrome and uh, look up Xbox Game Pass Cloud Gaming. Um, first thing that comes up is uh, Xbox Cloud Gaming Beta. Um, from there, you'll be at the front page and you want to hit the sign in button. Um, if you don't have a Microsoft account, you'd have to either get one or, of course, you have to have you have to have a subscription for Xbox Game Pass. To get this to work without a controller, head over to the Chrome Web Store, uh, then search up xCloud Keyboard, or you can just look up xCloud, it doesn't matter. Uh, so click on that extension, and from there, you'll get your overview um, and your screenshots, which will show you what it actually looks like. Um, for me, personally, I've seen this is the best one because this lets you use the keyboard and the mouse together, and it also has many options to change your uh, what, what, which buttons do what. Uh, there's nothing really I didn't like about it other than when you're trying to steer in the game, like, <laughs> moving around, you have to constantly move the mouse, it's not it's not as good as a controller, but I mean if you don't have a controller, it's pretty necessary if you want to play games on of course over the cloud. Um, which it's helpful because you can do it on any device. So you would want to add it to Chrome. I don't know how many of you guys use you know Chrome, but uh, the Chrome Web Store. I mean, uh, it's 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 a pretty helpful uh, store because I mean it has every hack you can think of. So here I'm signing into my account and I'm going to kind of show what this, uh, this uh, extension does. Um, and then I'll show you some of the buttons you can change so you can kind of make it your way because I mean, <laughs> the default is not very good. The default has none of the buttons that most games use. So um, here I'm going to click on this game. You click there to enable, so it'll, it'll kind of guide you through it once you open the game. And then from here, uh, you want to stay on. You want to stay um, out of the um, the mouse controls. So you, because <laughs> sometimes it gets confusing. You want to hit Escape and F11 or FN if you have a, a Dell or Lenovo. And um, yeah, that'll get you out of full screen, so you can actually get to the extension. Um, you can add presets. You can add different buttons. Um, it's hopefully pretty self-explanatory from here. Um, it you know it lets you you know create different um, presets. It lets you bind keys together. It lets you you know kind of like what I'm doing here. I kind of try to go as simple as possible. The, the keys that make sense. The one thing I don't like about it is some keys are uh, you might there's so many different keys to to really select through. Sometimes you have to leave some of the keys that are needed out like WASD is good for moving around like for example W could be your throttle S could be even like I don't know it could be um, your brake or your spacebar could be your brake A and D could be to move left or right or it could or you could use A as literally A like press A to play um, I mean, yeah, that's what I usually do. I sometimes just mess around and figure it out. It's it's a pretty confusing process. But anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching.